Hey guys, what's up? I am back with a brand new video and it's time to do a check out the performance of the Samsung Galaxy A52s 5G against the Huawei Nova 7i and the Huawei Nova 7i is powered by Huawei current 810 chipset with 8 GP of RAM while the A52s 5G is powered by a new Qualcomm Snapdragon 778G chipset with 8 GP of RAM as well. On the back, we have quad cameras on both phones. We have 48 megapixel main camera on the Huawei while on the Samsung, we have 64 megapixel main camera which also has a optical image separation. Also, we have a 8 megapixel ultra wide. We also have a 2 megapixel macro and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. While on the Samsung, we have a 12 megapixel ultra wide. Also, we have 5 megapixel macro and a 5 megapixel depth sensor. Also, the A32s 5G, it is a more expensive phone as compared to the Huawei Nova 7i. So, note a head to head speed test. Also, the back is made up of plastic on both phones. So, in this video, I'm gonna show you how much a difference between a A32s 5G versus the Huawei Nova 7i in apps opening speed as well as in boot up test. So, without any wasting time, let's get right into it. Now, first, now let's see the boot up test on both phones. Like always, here we go. And uh, Logo is came up first on the Samsung as compared to the Huawei. Also, we have Android 11 versus versus One UI version 3.1 on the Samsung. While on the Huawei Nova 7i, we have Android 10, no Android 11 on the Nova 7i as of now. Also, we have EMUI version 10, and the A32s 5G is perform a little bit more faster when it comes to booting up as compared to the Nova 7i. About half a second difference between DC devices. Now let's talk about the displays between DC devices. We have a 6.5 inch Full HD Super AMOLED display with 120Hz refresh rate while on the Huawei Nova 7i we have 6.4 inch Full HD IPS LCD display with 60Hz refresh rate and both phones also has a punch hole and the punch hole it is on the center as well as more smaller as compared to the punch hole of the Nova 7i and the bottom chain it is very small on the Samsung Everything is closed up in the background. No application is running in the background. Also, we have same Wi-Fi network on both phones. And the first application we have is the phone dialer. Like always, faster on the Nova 7i because we have more faster animation. Also, we have Android 10 versus Android 11. Now, let's see settings. That is, again, a little bit more faster on the Huawei. Now, let's go to the display. And you can see we have 120Hz refresh rate on the Samsung while on the Nova 7i we have 60 hertz refresh rate so now let's check out some more application like Amazon shopping again we have Huawei Karen 810 versus a Snapdragon 778G a little more faster on the Nova 7i as compared to the Samsung now let's see the scrolling and that is fees more smoother on the Samsung as compared to the Nova 7i now let's see some games application now let's start off with the Candy Crush Saga Huawei Karen 810 exactly the same on both phones as you can see no difference there Instagram faster on the Nova 7i now let's see pin out on both phones again exactly the same no difference there also we have single speaker on the Nova 7i while on the Samsung we have dual speakers so that's really big difference now let's see snapchat faster on the Nova 7i and you can see it does not have any Google Play services on the Nova 7i, no Google Play Store on the Nova 7i. So now let's see Spotify. Faster again on the Nova 7i. Now let's see Subway Surfer and the Huawei Karen 810 as well as the Qualcomm Snapdragon 778G and both phones is performed very similar. And this time the little more faster on the Nova 7i as compared to the Samsung. Now let's opening up the tutor faster on the Nova 7i as compared to the Samsung Zedge and faster on the Samsung A32s 5G. Now let's see the scrolling and this where we can see the real difference between these two devices 60Hz versus 120Hz. Last time I launched the cameras on both phones default camera app. Now let's see that which one is going to be the fastest one faster on the Nova 7i as compared to the Samsung also we have optical image stabilization on the Samsung on the front we have on the front we have 16 megapixel selfie camera on the Nova 7i while on the Samsung we have 32 megapixel selfie camera and the camera looks more cleaner 
on the Nova 7i. Now let's see internet browser speed. I am seeing to for Samsung internet browser on the Samsung while on the Nova 7i. Huawei internet browser. Now let's open the wikipedia.org. Faster on the Samsung as compared to the Nova 7i. Now let's see the scrolling. And again, a little more smoother on the Samsung as compared to the Nova 7i. So now let's opening up the English and very similar on both phones now let's see the scrolling again a little more smoother on the samsung 60 hertz versus 120 hertz yes the nova 7i it is a more cheaper phone next on the list is the apple.com and apple.com faster on the nova 7i a little more faster there now let's see the scrolling again really smooth on the samsung but no lag whatsoever on both phones now let's see RAM management on both phones. Again, we have 8 GB of RAM. Now let's see that who is performed good in the RAM management. Again, we have a lot of apps in the background. Also, we have extended RAM feature on the Samsung. And the Samsung is called it RAM Plus. Let's see phone dialer. No refresh. Let's see settings. Amazon shopping. It is a in-app refresh. Let's see Candy Crush Saga. No refresh. Instagram. Let's see pin out. Let's see Snapchat. Let's see Spotify. Let's see Subwoofer. So the RAM management looks really good on both phones, which is obvious. Now let's see Twitter. No refresh. Zedge. Last way back to the internet browser. No refresh on both phones. And guys, over I have to say regarding the app's opening speed, as you can see that and the Huawei Nova 7i as well as the Samsung Galaxy A32 S 5G and both phones is performed very similar in the game app during time as well as in system based application obviously the Qualcomm Snapdragon 778G it is more powerful overall as compared to the Huawei current A10 in a lot of areas in terms of the RAM image device both phones is performed really good in the RAM image band no difference between these two devices also on the Nova 7i we also have 4200mAh battery size with a 40W fast charging while on the A52 S 5G, we have 4500 mAh battery size with 15 watt fast charging. But in the box, we have 15 watt adapter. But the A52 S 5G also support 25 watt fast charging as well. So that's about it. And thank you so much for watching this speed test comparison between the Samsung Galaxy A52 S 5G versus the Huawei Nova 7i. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel for daily tech videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter as well. And I will see you in my next video. Peace out.